Hi everyone, Cassia614 here, welcoming you to the ninth episode of the final Life Abridged Countdown, where we've been counting down the top 40 series that put out material between June and November of 2009. This episode brings you series number four on the list, HBI2K's Escaflone Abridged. Uh, full disclosure, I do play Hitomi and Princess Iris on this show. And now... This show, HBI2K's third abridged series after Berserk and Gantz, has a spunky shonen action hero in Vaughn and crazy, crazy supporting characters, including the hypersexual Alan Shazar, uh, quite amusing, and at this point, a very impressive cast of uh, various guest stars who've been filling in as the some of the supporting characters, uh, which has been quite good because one of HBI2K's uh, weaknesses, though his writing has always been fantastic, is the uh, voice range. So it, it, is, it is fun to hear a bunch of different voices in this show more than he's had in the past. So with that, here is Uninterrupted, the top five moments of HBI2K's Escaflone between episodes seven and 16, the material that came out between June and November. Enjoy! Can I get a huddle? Goddess, Hitomi, Aunt Malerna, huddle. So, quick question. Is Alan Shazar my dad? What makes you say that? Just because I'm short doesn't mean I'm stupid, Aunt Malerna. If anyone has something to tell me, now's the time. Uh, the boss well, doesn't really I don't talk about very his no. question. Look, it's very simple. If I'm Alan's son, I surrender and buy the rest of you time to escape. If I'm Duke Freight's son, we all die to defend this place. Definitely Alan. Alan. Definitely. No doubt about it. You put his penis in your mom! Lord Falcon, we offer our surrender on the sole condition that you allow our guests safe passage out of Freight. I bow before your wisdom, Prince Sheed. Well, you heard him then. Everybody drop trow and piss all over the corpses of those who die to defend this place. Hey, that's not what I said at all! Oh, come on. Now you're just splitting hairs. In the anime industry's quest for ratings, the creators of shows with strong cross-demographic appeal must pander to two separate yet equally important groups. The Shonen fandom, who enjoy giant robots, short-skirted schoolgirls, and long, drawn-out fights between muscle-bound supermen full of thinly-veiled homoeroticism, and the shoujo fandom, who like their schoolgirls magical, their giant robot pilots Bishonen, and their homoeroticism right out in the open. These are their stories. Look, you could at least swear eternal vengeance against your brother. Oh, hey, Falcon's just doing what he thinks is right. I mean, I'm going to keep fighting to stop him, but it's not a revenge thing. He's still my brother no matter what he does. Wow, Vaughn, that's actually a really mature and well-adjusted way to look at it. Hey, thanks! And... Do you know how many fangirls mature, well-adjusted characters usually get? 50,000! Lower. 500? Lower. Square root of negative one? Okay, higher. And less imaginary. Zero? Bingo! No. Angst! Angst like you've never angsted before! Angst, 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 angst. Ooh, a dead lizard! You're so numbed! Merle, put that down. You don't know where it's been. Okay. Wait a minute. Vaughn, how did you know what she was doing behind the hedge? Oh, just did. Don't you get it? You sensed her presence even though you couldn't see her. Just like I do when I sense the Zybox soldiers through their stealth cloaks. Y you mean, I, I got a whole new superpower just by being angsty for the fangirls? Hitomi versus Malerna! Passive-aggressive combat! I'm so glad you came to Freight, Hitomi. I hate to be the only chick in this sausage fest. Really? This might sound silly, but I had this idea that you didn't like me. Oh, I'm so sorry I gave you that impression. We girls have to stick together. I think we should be friends. Okay. And it's very important that friends never let a man come between them. Well, I... I guess that's important. It's the most important thing there is. Girl power! Yeah... Yeah! You're right. Chicks before dicks. Wow, you really mean that? 
Mean what? You're saying if you and a friend both like the same guy, you step aside and let your friend have him? Wait, what? I never said- Wow, you're a way better person than me, Hatomi. I don't think I could ever do something like that. What? But you said- uh -huh. You're so awesome, Hatomi. Best friends forever. Alerna wins! Manipulatality! Passive aggressive combat! Hey, Tommy, can I ask your advice on something? Shoot! Well, I had this friend named, um, Shmalerna? Hey, her name rhymes with yours! Does it? I never noticed. Anyway, she's in love with this guy named, um, uh, Shmalin Shmizard. How come these people's names all start with Shma? Oh, their mothers have a speech impediment. The same speech impediment? That's how they met. Their mothers went to the same speech therapist. Can I finish? Sorry. Well, it turns out that Shamalin had a secret love child, and there's a She's other talking about Alan. Biden. Uh, it, it sounds like maybe your friend should try playing hard to get. You know what's good for that? Marrying someone else. And then what? Cheat on him? Of course not. Adultery is a sin. Hitomi wins. Illogicality. It was so weird. All through dinner, when I wasn't telling people how awesome I am, I had to listen to them instead. And it was like I could tell how they were thinking and feeling just by watching what they said and did. Did I get some kind of awesome new superpower without realizing it? Or has everybody been able to do this all along? Bravo, Alan. Vaughn, would you excuse us for a moment? I bet she wants to be alone with Alan so she can let him know she'd rather be marrying him than that other guy. And God, it's happening again! Oh, hey, Vaughn. Is Alan up there? If she sees Alan and Malerna together, she'll get her feelings hurt. That's weird. I don't want her feelings to get hurt, even though they're her feelings and I'm me. Man, these new powers are complicated. Hey, don't go up there. Let's go someplace, um, not up there. Yeah, that's nice, Fun. Why don't you go focus your chakra or something shonen-y like that? Well, that didn't work. It must have all been in my imagination. Nobody can tell what other people are feeling. <laughs> new superpowers. What a goober. Alright, so there you have it, series number four, HBI2K's Escaflone Abridged. Stay tuned for the top three series to put out material between June and November of 2009.